Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This is a Dell E7470 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and service and clean up the heatsink and the motherboard. It's very really easy, you should be able to do this under 10 to 15 minutes if you don't rush even. So let's go over the tools and what we're gonna do, what we need to do this process. First you need to power it off. Tool number one and most important one, it's a workshop towel. One sheet of the workshop towel, it's really good to have. I'm gonna use two. And we need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic 99% plus, it's very, very important. You need a good thermal paste. I'll be using an thermal grizzly extreme. You can use an, a cheaper version, which is really good too. It's an Arctic MX4. It's really good, I'll leave the link in the description. But if you want to go over the board, you can get the Thermo Grizzly uh, Extreme Edition, which is really uh, one of the best. Actually, it is the best. And with this on hand, you will need a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And these are one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel, and they are really hardened steel and durable. So we're going to use a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, for the opening tool, I'll be using a metallic guitar pick. Metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. So you're gonna keep these ones. And you can use an old toothbrush if you want. Old toothbrush, are we gonna clean the fan with it? All right, with all this on hand, let's get it started. First thing first, we wanna put a base. We're gonna flip the laptop over this. So we don't scratch or do anything. Now down here we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All these screws they have a little C lock on the other side. What does the C lock do? It prevents the screw coming out entirely, so you don't mismatch them. Also, it helps to push the cover away from the palm rest. So we starting from one corner, we're gonna start loosening up the screws. And once you see it's loose enough, just go to the next screws. You're gonna do this all around, even including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed and I mean loosen up all the screws, what we're gonna do? We're gonna open it, grab the opening tool. We're gonna start from one corner back here, and we're gonna stick it between bottom cover, and we're gonna lift it up and. You're gonna start wiggling it out from the back, wiggle it up always from the back and bring it up. Otherwise, if you try from the bottom, there's a tiny little clips here. This clips will not let you to lift up from the bottom. So you have to start from the back, which is really soft. All right, down here, we're gonna see the whole motherboard and everything. First thing first, you wanna disconnect the battery if you wanna do any servicing on the CPU. So to do that, you wanna grab this uh, battery cable right here, this flip thing and pull it upward towards the ceiling and bend it to the one side. There we go. Next, it's really easy. We want to disconnect the fan cable. You can either put your fingernails at the side of the jack and pull it out, just like that, so you don't yank on the cable. Okay, that's one. Let's push it back in. Or if you don't have fingernails, you have choppy fingers, use a curved tweezers. Put it on the side of the jack and you can pull it backwards. There you go. Once that one is finished, first we're gonna remove two screws for the fan. One right there. And the other screw is right over there. We're gonna remove the four screws for the heat sink. There we have it. Once you remove the four screws, all you need to do, grab it from here, twist it around, and then you wanna lift it up. And then you're gonna see the whole thermal paste is really dried and it's really over. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna clean it up. And we are also gonna clean up, remove the fan and clean it up if you want to, or you can just leave it here, use a toothbrush and clean it up. In case you wanna remove the fan, there's only two screws. These are like a Phillips double zero, one here, one here. Remove these two screws and the fan will come out this way out but you will have to rip this uh, tape over here. You don't need to put it back together, just rip it over and the fan will just come out and you can just clean it. Otherwise, 
you can just use a toothbrush, clean it right on top and blow some air through here so you can, the dust can come out through this side back out. All right, now we're gonna go over and clean up the thermal paste. Grab a little bit of the workshop towel and you wanna spray a lot of alcohol on it. Make sure it's nice and soaking. Now you wanna just wipe over the CPU. Just gently, you don't have to go crazy, just keep going back and forward. And it will just pick up the little chunks of the thermal paste. Once you have it cleaned up, flip it inside out. Use a clean part, do second pass. And there we have it, it's clean. Same thing with the uh, heat sink. It is really dried. And if it's really dry, you can put an alcohol on top and use a plastic spatula and just rub it off. All right, now that we clean it up, we're gonna grab a dried one and we're just gonna do one or two pass, make sure there's no dust particles or anything on the CPU. Same thing in here, just clean it up nicely. Put it to one side, grab your thermal paste, if you're using a syringe, just one drop in here and one tiny line on the second chip. The main chip CPU is this one, and the second chip is the PCH chip, which is the Southbridge chip. So we're gonna put one drop, oh, it doesn't matter, one little bit of squeaky. You can spread it or you can just leave it on top. Do a second pass on the heat sink. Put the uh, fan side down first and bring it over and squeeze it right on top. Now we're gonna cross screw them. So put one, two, three, four. As long as you cross screw them, you're fine. Once you put the heat sink down, do not lift it up again. Otherwise you have to repaste. There we go. Put the two screws for the fan that you removed. And once you're done with that one, just grab the battery cable and just push it down inside the jack. And that should be all. And make sure you always plug in the fan connector right inside the jack evenly and pinch it all the way in. Do not forget that. And last thing here, you wanna grab the bottom cover Make sure you wanna put the front end of the cover in 45 degree or 65 degree right in front of the uh, palm rest right there. Make sure it snaps in its place. And then bring the back side down and make sure the front has been nice and closed. So the front has to be just like this, nicely. And then all you need to do is start from the back corner and tighten up all the screws. And this video, and this is how you service your Dell Latitude laptop. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up with screwing it up.